So it turns out that lasers from light shows and nightclubs can and most likely will damage your camera sensor. All right guys, my name's Avi and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I am saving you from wrecking your camera. Yes, you heard that right. I am saving you from wrecking your $3,000 camera or four, or five, six, 10, 20, whatever the value. So consider this a PSA announcement for all my fellow mirrorless camera owners. So it turns out that lasers from light shows and nightclubs can and most likely will damage your camera sensor. I did not know this. In fact, I used when I started, I was making videos at nightclubs. So I'm part of a, give me one second here. So I am part of a Facebook group here for Sony a7 IV users filming on the FX3, by the way, with the 35 millimeter Sony lens. And one of the users who recently got a Sony a7 IV posted this video right here. Now, as you can see, there's some purple lines on the screen. And what you're looking at are basically the active pixels, those little light buckets that capture the light information that's coming into the camera are burned. They're burned and they're permanently damaged. That sensor is now not useless, but not useful. So when I saw this video, I read the comments and that's when I realized, holy crap, that sucks. So I did some digging just to find out this is an actual thing because I had no clue, I never heard about this. Also, just a quick plug, I get all my royalty free music from Epidemic Sound. Right now, the sound you're hearing in the background is from Epidemic Sound. And there's a promotion with the link below in the description for 60 days free trial. That promotion runs from now until June 30th. So if you were to sign up anytime from now to June 30th, you get 60 days free. After that, it reverts back to 30 days free. So if I were you, I would jump on that, try it out for the 60 days, you know, use it because you can use Epidemic Sound Music on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and YouTube, of course, to make content, reels, whatever you want, and you don't have to worry about getting those copyright strikes. So try it out, and even if you like it, maybe you keep it. I've been paying for Epidemic Sound for the past two years. All right, now back to the article. So I did some digging around because I had no clue that this was an actual thing. I mean, I would not actively point my camera at an actual laser, but going to a nightclub to shoot some content, in no way was I thinking that, hey, maybe the laser's my damage. I'm more concerned about the guys partying, spilling drinks on my camera than the light show that's happening, right? So anyways, I did a Google search and I found out that Sony put out a statement in August of 2021. It says here, Sony officially warns that lasers can damage its camera sensors. And this is what they said. Do not directly expose the lens to beams such as laser beams. This may cause damage to the image sensor and cause the camera to malfunction. Note, in either outdoor or indoor environments where there is a laser display, the tendency of a direct or indirect laser beam damaging the CMOS sensor is still very high. So I did some deeper diving, found an article on Reddit where someone said they never had issues filming the laser bunks on people's skin. But what Sony's saying here is that you know, jewelry, uh, disco balls, anything reflective, once that light can reflect back into the camera sensor, there's a chance that you might damage your camera. Now, things to note, this is not only limited to laser lights at light shows and nightclubs. Any laser technology in general. For example, someone was filming an ad for laser tassel removals, that damaged their camera sensor. Another person was filming an ad for a self-driving car using a $20,000 Red Epic camera and a LiDAR system which uses laser light damaged the sensor. Now the really bad news is because obviously this would not be covered by your camera warranty, right? They put out the statement, if this happens, what's your course of action? Well, my advice to you is before you go to an event, you find out what technology they have there, what they're using to light, find out the insurance coverage of your client, and as well, if you're taking these jobs, you should have coverage yourself for damaging your gear. Secondly, I probably would just weigh the options depending on how much money I'm making. Is my camera a disposable camera? And that depends on your budget. That's the only due diligence I can offer in terms of like your recourse. The last thing is I sent an email out to Sony to find out what's the cost of replacing a Sony a7 IV sensor. They haven't got back to me yet. When they do reply, I would pin the comment below so that you guys can see. I hope this video prevents someone from having a broken camera. And if you guys have ever had an experience like this, have anything to share on the topic um, or any questions, please just leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. I have a lot more great content coming soon and I do appreciate you sitting here to watch this out. All right, cheers, leave a thumbs up. Take care, have a good one.